If you're going to the gym consistently and you're putting in the hard work, you want to see results and it can be very frustrating if you're not seeing any progress in the gym. So today we're going to talk about five reasons why you are not seeing any progress in the gym. Reason number one is that the food you eat doesn't align with your goals. A lot of people underestimate how much difference food can make. You can go to the gym as much as you want. If your food doesn't align with your goals, you're not gonna see a lot of progress. If your goal is weight loss, you wanna be eating in a calorie deficit. And if your goal is to build muscle and to gain weight, you wanna eat in a calorie surplus, which means if you wanna lose weight, you need to eat less than what you burn on a daily basis or weekly basis. I would always say a weekly basis is much easier than a daily basis. And if your goal is to gain weight, you need to eat more than what you are burning. It's also very important to eat a lot of protein. I personally do not track and I personally do not go crazy on the protein. I have a feeling of how much protein I need in my day. I'm not forcing my protein into my daily routine. I did this in the beginning but I feel like it's not very sustainable in my everyday life. You know sometimes you're just gonna have a very quick meal or you're out and about and there's maybe not the most protein in it. If it's not every single day this is obviously not a problem. I would always look at your whole how you eat and how you train your whole week is so much more important than one single day even when you are in a calorie surplus or in a calorie deficit having a weekly calorie intake makes it so much easier you can be so much more hungry on a Monday and then maybe not on a Thursday or maybe you want to eat a little bit more when you're going out on Saturdays so I think a weekly calorie intake is always so much easier to also make this more sustainable and more of a lifestyle but still getting in enough protein is very important important if you want to gain muscle obviously but also if you want to lose weight if you're losing weight and you already build muscle protein is gonna help you to keep the muscle but protein is also gonna help you with losing weight because protein takes much longer to digest in your body so you're gonna be full longer and obviously if you want to build muscle protein protein is very important. <laughs> not just by not eating enough protein, but also if you're eating unhealthy or not very nutritional meals, this can also hurt your progress in the gym. We all do eat unhealthy, right? We all have our pizza, we all have our burgers or whatever, but the main thing is how much of it do you have? You know, a lot of people talk about the 80-20 rule. I feel like I just try to eat healthy most of the week and then have here and there where I go out or order something or have, I don't know, ice cream or popcorn or whatever I want pretty much. Reason number two why you might not be seeing results is because you're not consistent either with training or with your food. If you're going to the gym only once or twice a week because I don't know maybe you're tired or you don't want to or you're busy. I mean we're all busy sometimes I totally get it. If you're only going to the gym once or twice a week you're probably not gonna see a lot of progress compared to someone who goes to the gym three times a week, four times a week or even five times a week. It's very important that you are consistent with your training days. We all get busy and I totally get it. You will not be able to make it to the gym three, four, five times every week, but make sure to make it most weeks. Go when you're tired, go when you're unmotivated. These are the days that are so, so, so important. There are so many days where I really do not want to go to the gym, but I'm still going. There's obviously a difference if you're not feeling well, if you're feeling sick or something, or if life happens. I totally get it. I was so strict in the beginning of my gym journey, but now I also realize that there are other more important things sometimes in my life than the gym. For example, when I was in uni, I had to prioritize my studying and I had to prioritize uni sometimes over my training, even if that meant I couldn't go as many times as I wanted. The same goes if you're working a nine to five, sometimes I'm just so tired. I'm really like extremely tired and I can just feel that my body needs rest. Then I'm not going to the gym. Like I'm not gonna force myself into something where I know I'm not gonna be feeling good. You need to find that balance between, are you a little bit unmotivated, a little bit tired and you just don't wanna, and you just don't want to because you're too comfortable or are you really exhausted or stressed or burned out or are there other important things in life happening sometimes i 
really wanted to go to the gym and then I don't know there were family things happening or this weekend for example I was like I want to go to the gym on Saturday but it's also Mother's Day and I want to make my mom some cinnamon rolls <laughs> so I was like I cannot do both because there's not enough time in the morning so I'm just I'm just gonna make the cinnamon rolls okay I'm gonna skip the gym and we're going next week again it's fine okay same goes for food I already touched on the 80 20 rules if you are eating healthy two days three days a week and then the rest of the week you're eating unhealthy and not hitting your protein you're not gonna Gonna see the same results as if you are very consistent I totally get it nobody eats I mean some people probably do but it's very unrealistic to hit your protein target all the time to eat healthy all the time I mean I also don't want it because I feel like where's the fun then about living you know you also want to eat other food obviously and you want to go out with your friends or have some takeaway but finding the balance between making sure that you eat right most of the time and then have your indulgences there's nothing wrong with that also with being consistent if you're doing random workouts all the time and you're switching your exercises all the time this is not being consistent consistent and seeing a lot of progress is when you are following a workout program or a workout structure you can get programs on the internet you can have an app make your own program I also have that experience that when I was following a program I had the absolute best results and when I was eating aligned with my goals I feel like these two things are so 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 important so even if you do not want to purchase a program don't switch up the exercises all the time for example I'm doing my hip thrusts every single week I'm not switching them up I know how important they are I do my RDLs I have the same movements in my exercises every single week of course I do switch up things here and there but I'm not switching them up consistently following a workout program following a workout structure and having the same exercises is gonna bring you progress this is gonna get you the results in the gym that you want to have reason number three why you might not be seeing progress in the gym is because you are not training hard enough how do you know if you're not training hard enough if you're a complete beginner you obviously don't have a feeling of how long your workout should be or how many workouts you should have in a week so I think it's even more helpful if you have a program or a structure to follow from someone because you don't have a feeling of how many exercises you need how long your workout should be if you are training and let's say you are doing hip thrusts and the last one to two reps are still easy for you and you know you could do more reps then you're not training hard enough you need to be really 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 struggling really struggling on those last one to two reps this is where the progress comes in and I find myself of that guilty sometimes sometimes I'm not pushing myself as hard in the gym I totally also get it that sometimes you're just tired and you're just like you're you, you cannot push it to the absolute extreme every single time but I still make sure that my workout is very hard and very demanding but not going over the top please please don't hurt yourself which brings me to the next point and that is to have correct form when you are performing the exercises if you're doing hip thrust you really want to squeeze on top and not leave that moment out because you have incorrect form because then you're not training the muscle in the way it's supposed to be trained or when you're doing squats you want to be down at a 90 degree angle when you're doing bulgarian split squats you want to really push with your working leg and feel the burn in your glutes you just don't want to go randomly up and down and do the movement very quick just to get it over with so also to slow down your movement slow down your movement make sure that you feel the burn where you should be feeling it and then going not until failure but making your last one to two reps very hard a lot of times you can lift heavier than you think I've had this experience also a lot of times sometimes I was just putting on the weights and I was still able to lift them and I was surprised because I never thought that I could lift that weight now for example I tried pull-ups for the first time and I was so surprised I was like oh my gosh I can do a pull-up since when <laughs> so really try to push yourself of course you will not be reaching new weights extreme weights every single week but every few weeks few months i mean when it comes to squats i feel like i'm i've been squatting the same weight forever very important obviously oh my gosh i can't believe i didn't mention it earlier progressive overload increasing your weights every few weeks increasing your reps having a little bit rest time or slowing down the movement there are so many forms of progressive overload because obviously you cannot increase your weight all the time honestly i would i'm i'm not the best example for progressive overload because i feel like i'm always stuck on a weight for a very long time and then one day magically I can lift 
a lot more and then I'm like oh wow I made I made another jump <laughs> progressive overload is very important because if you're training the same weight for the same reps for the same set every single week your body is gonna get used to it and also you will not see the progress that you want to see in the gym something that I also like to do is track the weights I didn't do this for the longest time let me tell you I never tracked my weights but tracking my weights has become so essential for me because I can see every single week how much weight I had on that exercise how many reps did I do how many sets because I don't remember it all the time okay? and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't do Bulgarian split squats in like four weeks what was the weight I took the last time how many reps did I do you know tracking your weights is so game-changing you can do this on your phone you can do it handwritten I see a lot of people do this at the gym actually which I'm always amazed by because I am like wow you have your own book and write it down that's I'm always like very impressed <laughs> um, but I do this usually in an app at the moment I don't use the app so you can do this in your notes app and just write it down reason number four is that you're training too much I know this is the very opposite of what we're talking right now but also too much training can prevent you from seeing progress in the gym if you're going to the gym six times a week seven times a week your body does not have time to recover and recovery time is so important for seeing progress and for building muscle because your body needs rest time not just by sleeping enough which is also very important sleeping enough but also by having your rest days you are not losing progress if you're resting you're also not losing progress if you're not going to the gym for a week or for two weeks because you also didn't build everything that you have in a week or in two weeks it's, that's always what i think if i have one week where i'm not eating good where i'm not training at all nothing happens because i didn't build my body in one week so i'm not gonna lose it in one week <laughs> make sure that you have enough rest days this is very different for everyone i personally could never go to the gym five days a week it's too much for me i like to go three to four times then i feel like i have enough rest days to recover especially because i also need energy for my workouts if i go too many times I cannot push myself as hard. I also only have two leg days a week. I know some people like to have three leg days a week, which is totally fine. But I think if I have two very hard leg days, this is more than enough for me. And I need my two to three days to recover in between my leg days. Same goes for my upper body. So maximum two leg days, maximum two upper body days. I don't need more than that. So if you're training very hard and you're going to the gym so many times and you're not seeing progress, try to have less days where you go to the gym, especially maybe you want to see glute growth and you're training your legs three times a week and you don't see a lot happening I mean number one like we said earlier maybe if let's specifically talk about glutes maybe you're not eating enough but also maybe you're just training too much maybe your body doesn't recover enough and then you cannot give your all on those leg days and reason number five why you might not be seeing results in the gym is because you are too impatient i feel like there are a lot of people out there that want to make you believe that they've got their body in 12 weeks which is absolutely unrealistic because everyone who is honest about their body and who built their body in the gym and not got you know surgery they will tell you that it took them years to build the body they have today and if you ever feel like it's too late or I wish I started earlier if I started two years ago I already would have my dream body yes the best time was maybe two years ago but the second best time is now so if you start now you're gonna be very thankful in two years or in one year it doesn't even take two years it was just an example but you're gonna be so grateful in a year because you will have made so much progress in a year even in a couple of months you can also make a lot of progress in the gym especially if you go on a weight gain or weight loss you're gonna see a lot of results within a couple of months maybe you're expecting results within three months that are gonna take a little bit longer so you're just a little bit too impatient and you just need to wait a little bit longer because if you're going to the gym and you are consistent and you are eating right you will see results also very important is to take progress pictures because I I don't see my progress okay I wouldn't know how I looked a couple years ago if I didn't have my pictures I would still think that I probably look the same that I did I mean there are also other measurements the scale which I would say is not very accurate but I, I, I like to use the scale still but not relying on it too much you could also measure yourself or you can go by how your clothes 
fit. You're not gonna see the progress in your day-to-day -day life, but if you look back at these pictures, you're gonna be so grateful that you took them and you're also gonna be so proud of the progress that you made in the gym by training consistently and by eating right so these were the five reasons why you might not be seeing progress in the gym i hope that this helped in any way please subscribe if you want to see more fitness tips workouts what i eat in the day videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video bye